Dragonflies is a beautiful little playful piece from Greenwood Tree by Marjorie. And as you can see, it is Allegretto and it has a, a nice little character. As you could see, it's all about the connection of the left and right hand, the melody going from one hand to the other, and all about this wavy, very legato connected motion. So Allegretto Grazioso means fast-ish and graceful, so lightly. And the key signature is B flat. So it is in the key of F major. Every B is going to be flat. And we are in this time signature of three, four. So three beats in every bar. Now, understanding the rhythm is crucial before you start playing this. As you can see, the first bar is only quavers divided between the right hand and the left hand. And the second bar is crotchet, quaver, quaver, crotchet. So quarter note, eighth note, eighth note, quarter note, and then the same rhythm repeats. Now I can only show the first line of this score because it's still in copyright, but it should be enough to demonstrate the rhythm. So what you want to do with the rhythm is first of all, either count it as one and two and three and or t t t t. Now I'm gonna show you clapping the first four bars and then the same thing just repeats. So t t t t t t ta t t ta ta t t ta ta t t ta. And you can also go one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. Once you got the rhythm, you can have a look at the notes. Now again, the finger numbers are a little bit all over the place. So there's a lot of uh, position changes in the right hand, but let's start hands together because it makes more sense to play actually hands together. Right hand is going to start at the high D, number five, left hand number one on the D above middle C. So we're gonna go. Left hand continues. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. So what you could see is that I was holding down these left hand notes, the B, the B flat and the A, because they are dotted minims, dotted half notes, so you need to sustain it. And the right hand is waiting for the rest on the first beat. And then in a very beautiful wavy motion, following the melody. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. So we've got these very small slurs in every bar and we have to connect those notes and create some kind of motion throughout the melody by following the melody with our hands, with our arms. So that was the first section. Now let's see the second four bars. So bars five to eight, it's almost a repetition. and finishing on an F major chord. Now it's very easy to read because it's just skips and steps in, in both hands, so it shouldn't be any difficult to, to read it. And then in the next bar, bar nine, the rhythm changes a little bit. Left hand starts T T, right hand T T ta. So T T T T ta, lift. So left hand starts, the slur gives the melody to the right hand and then lift. So the key thing here is to make sure there's no gap between the hands, something like this. So no hesitation, no gap, the, le the right hand follows the left hand swiftly and very smoothly in the same tempo and then lifting up at the end of each bar. And then we carry on, bar 13, crescendo. finishing on the dominant C major chord. And back to the starting theme. And now we have 
have a slow down and finishing on the F major chord very quietly. So slowing down for the last three bars, ritenuto we can see there, and dynamics wise we start quiet, a little bit of crescendo in the middle, finishing loud on the C chord, and then when the theme comes back, it's quiet again. So the structure, as you can see, is A, B, A. We have an A section followed by something different and the A section comes back. A successful performance of this piece is going to be very expressive with the melody following with the hand, making it very legato, very smooth, and the melody is going somewhere. It's not just static hands playing the notes. Evenness is crucial in the quavers and the crotchets, so make sure you don't mix up the two and that the counting is perfectly smooth all the way through. There are no hesitations or little gaps between the two hands.